and it's done by. Hey, hey, hey. There we go. Fireworks. I'm still buzzed off that beer. I'm here. I was at the Bellagio. I'm going back to the Cosmo. Please excuse the beer talk. <laughs> and that's uh, my friend who's also feeling the beer effect. So, the second biggest news around here this week is MGM Resorts about to take over Cosmopolitan soon. So this is the walkway from the Bellagio to the Cosmo. And it's, it's closer than it looks. Hey, what up Paris? Yeah! Oh boy, this symbolic walk from Bellagio to Cosmo is about five minutes. Alright y'all. Hey, what up Kelly Clarkson? Hello! <laughs> All right, I'll get back to the second biggest news around here later on. All right. Let me do this video here. We're just gonna go down the stairs. Oh, escalator, it's actually working. All right, let my buddy go first. He, he bought those Gucci flops today. He's rolling, he's young, and he's ready to do it. I'm still in my... Uh... So, if you're young like this cat here, you know what I mean? Like, Cosmo is a place to be, I think. You know, I'll be honest with you. And especially if you smoke. But if you don't, maybe it's not so much for you. But, uh, it's a cool option. All right, y'all. I'll catch you. One, Three, two, one. This is the lobby area, and this is the Chelsea Tower elevator quarters cool little check-in area. However, the Boulevard Tower is on the opposite end. Because that's the Chelsea building and this is the uh, the Boulevard building. I'm in the Boulevard Tower on the 68th floor in a room called Terrace One Bedroom. You want to walk with me up there? Maybe you do, maybe you don't. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, sorry. Is this 68? Yes. Oh, thank you. All right, y'all. Uh, here I am on my floor. <sighs> you know, I got a pretty cool number here. Six, eight, kind of, kind of like a monotone feel. This is the Terrace One Bedroom at the Cosmopolitan. Right. Cool. Let's do a walk in. And I will show you all the quirks and features of lights. this room. Cool. Okay. Let's walk okay. in. Uh, okay, cool. Okay, little armchair. Okay, cool. Now, all right, you got your goodies here. Um, I don't know, could I beat this snack stand here? I'm not sure. Oh, okay, there's two fridges. Could I open both? Oh, let's go with the left one first. Nice. Is it hooked up? Yeah, that's hooked up. So I'm guessing this is the stocked one, huh? Let me see. Yep, it's the stocked one. Hey, what up? Casamigos. Okay. Some goose. Comment below, which one would you select? Cool. I'll stick to this one. Uh, sitting quarters. Ooh, some mirror to check yourself out. Okay. Another mirror to check yourself out. So in theory, you could check out your front and your back at the same time, huh? Okay, you do you. It's like a locker room bench. What is this? Does it move? It's like a 24 hour fitness or LA fitness. This is, I guess this is where you do your locker room talk, which I haven't done in a while. Okay, side, ooh, okay. All right. Couple of these. I don't ever use those. What up, box? Okay. A little artwork. Hey, I don't know. It's kind of weird. Uh, I don't know. I'll just leave it at that. Let's move on. Okay, cool. Okay, so. I mean, it looks cool and all, but seriously, like, uh, I don't know. Wait, how much did this hotel cost to uh, build? About $4 billion back in 2010. Well, that's creepy. <laughs> that, that's uh... 
Hey, you don't do your business. <laughs> do you do you smell that? <laughs> All right, never mind. All right, couple of sinks. I, you know what? I'm not complaining here or anything. It's just that. Oh, I see what they're doing. Initially, it didn't look like a $4 billion hotel room, but as soon as I entered this area, I began to understand. I see. It's a very... How many people could fit in here? Two? Okay. Okay, I see what's going on. Okay. All right. Uh, I don't know what that is. Lipstick? Someone try to turn on a light with their lips? Is that what happened? I hope it's this lipstick. Another TV in here, in case you want to watch some TV. And I guess you could have access to this little thing. From the bedroom. I guess you can't lay down or anything. You just kind of sit and kind of just talk. I guess you sit here and you sit there and you kind of just talk about things. You know, what would you talk about in a tub like this? Squid game, of course. And I, uh, I guess there's a view too, huh? Oh, there's a view. <laughs> Congrats to uh, Squid Game and all the Ojingo game players out there. This is very different from the from the uh, from the intentions of uh, Nomad. Which one do I like better? For my mood right now, my situation. I don't know, man. I I think. Uh, well, let's give this a try. But at this point, I think the Nomad is more suitable for me. You know, middle-aged dude, just rolling out. This is maybe in your, if you're in your 20s or 30s. Um, oh, you know what? I do like this. It's it's manual. It's a manual. Okay, let's so just flip that open and just I guess, bam, huh? Okay, y'all. All right, is it safe? Wow, the view from up here is just breathtaking. And starting sometime in 2022, all this could be part of the MGM Resorts portfolio, which is amazing news for MGM MLife members. But this could be bad news for the loyal Cosmopolitan identity members. All right, let's break this down. So the Cosmopolitan sold both its real estate asset, which is the building, and its business operations asset, which includes the casino operations for about $6 billion total. About $4 billion of that amount was paid for the real estate asset by a private investment group. And the remaining $2 billion was paid by the MGM Resorts to acquire the business operations component. So basically, MGM Resorts will manage and operate all the business related functions within the property, which includes hotel and casino operations. MGM Resorts will essentially pay rent to the owners of the property for the right to run its hotel and casino business. There is a lease agreement between MGM Resorts and the property owners for 30 years, renewable at each 10-year mark. Rent is starting out at $200 million annually, with nominal rent increases of about 3% after each year. Now that we got the numbers out of the way, uh, you might be wondering, who are the new property owners? Well, the new owners also own the building back there, the Waldorf Astoria. Many of us never been there, but all of us been to Panda Express. Cosmopolitan's new owner is the wife and husband team who started Panda Express. Hey yo! Wow, Panda Express, their story just gets more amazing, especially for me because I used to go to their first branch that was located at Glendale Galleria starting in 1983 when I was a kid. Alrighty then, um, if you're in your 20s and 30s, Cosmopolitan might be your top choice, especially if you like to go clubbing. So you do your partying here and do your thing, even though I didn't party much back then either, but I, I've been to the Marquee Club here a couple times just because of uh, just friends.
Oh boy, uh, I need a bath. Hey, hey, hey. So the water is uh, filling up real fast. Uh, just wondering, how, how do I, do I put bubbles in there? And use the body soap? Some of you might suggest putting salt in there, right? So I don't have a lot of salt, but uh, I have a little salt packet. I guess I have some pepper also. Should I put the pepper in there also? Or will that make me burn? Okay. Alright, let's see how that goes. Hey, hey, hey. So, uh, yeah, th this video might be really weird. Maybe. Um, just move on to the next video if it is. Uh, but yeah, I made it in. And, it, and that's the view you get from the sitting tub. Um, it's not a type of tub, it's deep. But if you sit, you can't really lay on it, lay down on it. I guess that's a good thing if you don't want to drown. In fact, this is some kind of a Japanese uh, style tub, something called Ofuro. It's basically a little square, but deep. Soaking tub. All right, I've been in here for five minutes and I think I'm done. <laughs> this is, I think that's it. I feel this, I put the little salt in here too from the, from the salt packet that I got from the, uh, the restaurant. Uh, just one packet. I didn't go overboard, but uh, all right, y'all. Um, this is this is this one was weird. Eh, I'll, I'll try not to do weird ones. <laughs> oh boy. Balcony, not a patio. Please, no smoke indoors. Cool. Light. Yeah. This is smoker's paradise. It's a spacious 110 square feet of balcony space. I think uh, Coolio sang a song about that one time, huh? Smoker's Paradise. Hey, 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 hey. Check it out. So this is a sandwich I bought earlier from uh, Greenberg's at New York, New York. So this is Greenberg's, inside of Greenberg's at the New York, New York. And this is, you know, the price point. It's like 14, 13 bucks for a sandwich. I usually get the New York Sky High. Or the hot sandwich if I'm taking it to go and then I separate it. I, I asked him to separate the meat and whatnot. Uh, some drinks. I'll show you the picture afterwards. It actually looks something like this. My favorite $13 sandwich in Vegas. Or I would eat this all the time in LA too. And for Vegas price, look how much meat that they give you. This is just all pastrami. This could be two two sandwiches easy. Look, look how big the bread is. And I just get it dry. And I put some spice and mustard and here's a pickle. Cause usually when you order to go, it'll just come in that box and it'll be all pre-made and whatnot. Let me taste it real quick. Yeah. This is a hot sandwich, all push army. I think they have it listed on as thirteen dollars. All right, I want to enjoy this and and try to enjoy my stay here at uh, Cosmo or Cosmopolitan. All right, thank you for watching. Come again.